Geraldine Wace Education and Work Education and Early Inspiration Wace was born in San Francisco in 1926. She attended and graduated from the University of California, Berkeley, in 1945, with a degree in business and finance. Wace's early interest in investing in finance stems from Benjamin Graham's 10-point checklist and his book's Security Analysis and the Intelligent Investor. Investment Quality Trends 1966-2002 In 1962, Wace began investing and attempted to find work as a stockbroker or an analyst. However, companies dismissed her request as they did not believe a female could be successful in this field. In 1966, at the age of 40, Wace collaborated with Fred Whitmore and founded Investment Quality Trends, a newsletter. The establishment of Investment Quality Trends marked Wace as the first woman to start an investment advisory service. Confident that she could make Investment Quality Trends successful, Wace bought out Whitmore and managed the firm by herself. To avoid the perception held by investors that a woman could not invest successfully, Wace signed her newsletter G. Wace instead of Geraldine Wace to mask her gender. The newsletter garnered significant success and created a loyal readership that generated profits off of her advice. In 1977, Wace appeared on the popular talk show Wall Street Week with Louis Rukeser and revealed that she was a woman, a woman, she was a woman, she was a woman, she was a woman, she was a woman, was a woman, she was a woman, was a woman, was a woman, but she was a woman, but she was a woman, was a woman. And although this came as a surprise to the readership at Investment Quality Trends, the subscribers were making so much money that they really didn't care. Wace garnered significant popularity throughout the years, earning herself the nickname the Grand Dame of Dividends. The work done by Wace has been published in illustrious finance publications, such as the Los Angeles Times, Fortune, Barron's, and the Wall Street Journal. Retirement at Investment Quality Trends 2003-Present After 36 years of conducting analysis and writing for Investment Quality Trends, Wace handed off editorial duties at Investment Quality Trends to Kelly Wright. However, Wace is still involved with the overall business strategy at Investment Quality Trends. Publications Wace is the co-author Dividends Don't Lie, Finding Value in Blue Chip Stocks 1988 and the Dividend Connection How Dividends Create Value in the Stock Market 1995. Dividends Don't Lie Finding Value in Blue Chip Stocks 1988 Dividends Don't Lie, Finding Value in Blue Chip Stocks was written by Geraldine Wace and Janet Lowe and published in 1988. The book teaches a value-based approach to investing by using the dividend yield theory as a means to produce consistent returns in the stock market. Rather than focusing on price cycles, company products marketing strategy, and other factors, Wace and low places an emphasis on dividend yield patterns as a means of evaluating a stock. The book is considered to be the Bible for dividend-centric value investing. A follow-up title, Dividends Still Don't Lie, The Truth About Investing in Blue Chip Stocks and Winning in the Stock Market was published by Kelly Wright, Managing Editor of Investment Quality Trends, in 2010. The Dividend Connection, How Dividends Create Value in the Stock Market 1995, The Dividend Connection, How Dividends Create Value, in the Stock Market was written by Geraldine Wace and Gregory Wace and published in 1995. The book is aimed at providing investors with the self-confidence to make stock market choices without hesitation and uncertainty. Wace's Investment Strategy 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 Wace's investment strategy looks closely at a dividend's yield to determine value a repetitively high yield would indicate an undervalued stock, and a repetitively low yield would indicate an overvalued stock. Wace has seven criteria to screen stocks with whether the dividend yield is undervalued on a historical basis, 
whether the company has raised dividends at an annual compound rate of at least 10% in the past 12 years, whether the company is trading at a book value BV of 2 or less, whether the company has a P-slash-E ratio of 20 Tominus 1 or less, whether the dividend payout ratio is 50% or less, whether the debt is 50% or less of the company's total market capitalization, whether it meets the six blue chip criteria, one dividends have been raised at least five times in the last 12 years, two has at least in a rating from S&P, three has at least five million shares outstanding, four has at least 80 institutional investors that hold the stock, five has at least 25 years of consistent dividends, and six has shown earnings. When a stock meets all seven of Wasey's criteria, the stock is categorized by Wasey as a buy.